The apostle, the disciple Peter, he was the top disciple of Jesus Christ. He was the uh, son of Jonah. The apostle Peter, Peter was a, a Hebrew, his name was Simon. He was born in the uh, area of Count uh, of the uh, uh, area of Bethsaida. His father' name was Jonah. He lived in poverty and deprivation, but in an environment of piety. His parents belonged to the few faithful, pious Hebrews of their time, who eagerly awaited for the Messiah. He learned very few letters. Apparently, only knew how to read and write. His brother was the original. Uh, Apostle Saint uh, Andrew. Peter married the daughter of Aristobulus, Greek name as we see, niece of the Apostle Barnabas. We had two, they had two children, a son and a daughter whose names we do not know, and we also do not know the name of his wife. He settled in his father-in-law's house in Capernaum and practiced with his brother Andrew, the profession of fisherman in the lake of um, Genesaret that is the uh, Galilee area. Now after the arrest of John the Baptist, the Lord went to the parts of Galilee to preach the gospel of salvation, and there he met most of his disciples, fishermen by profession, whom he called to become from now on fishers of men, Matthew 4.20, his accomplices in his work of saving the world. Let's remember that the uh, symbol for Christ is fish, with the Greek name Ixis, Jesus Christos Theoiosotir, meaning Son of God, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. Now the pious and enthusiastic Peter threw down in the nets one of the fish, uh, one of the first to follow uh, Jesus Christ faithfully, because of his dynamic character and his special devotion to the Lord. He deserved to have the lead over the other apostles and to speak often on their behalf. He was the first to confess that Christ is the Son of the living God, Matthew 16, 17. The Lord appreciated this confession and assured him that on this confession of faith, he said, I will build my church, Matthew 16, 18. His name was originally Caiaphas, meaning, uh, well, uh, he, uh, the Lord changed it to Peter, meaning stone, rock. He followed Christ faithfully, Petra, another, again, it's a Greek word, Petra, meaning stone, rock. He followed Christ faithfully throughout his three-year activity. At the time of his arrest, he reached violently, he reacted violently. He also followed Christ full of anguish and sorrow at the unholy court of the uh, Hebrew priesthood, although in the moment of weakness and fear, he denied uh, Christ even verbally, and for this he bitterly repented and cried throughout his life, Matthew 26, 75. He claimed to be one of the first to see the empty monument, the empty tomb, and to witness the resurrection of Christ. This shocking event literally transformed him. His fiery sermon on the day of Pentecost caused 3,000 souls to believe and to be baptized, and thus to establish the historical earthly Christ, Church of Christ. And then his life and action was admired. He preached with zeal and courage in Palestine and established the church and did infinite miracles for the glory of Christ. For his action, he, would harshly, uh, he was harshly uh, persecuted by his peers. And then his life and action was admired. He preached with zeal. and courage in Palestine and established a church, did infinite miracles for the glory of Christ. For his action, he was harshly persecuted by his peers. He then went to Antioch, founded the local church there. He then toured Gaul, Cappadocia, in Bithynia, in Pontus, and in Greece. In the Christian Orthodox tradition, there is no information about the end of his, this great apostle. It's most likely that he was an old man and died in a martyr's death in Antioch. Of course, there's also the papal tradition about Peter's transition to Rome, which is seriously disputed because it's this, it is based on later forged and uh, forged texts, which the popes forged in order to support the anti-Christian papal uh, primacy of power on the church. And we know, proven that the first bishop of Rome was Linus and not Peter. 
According to this tradition, Peter ended up in populous Rome. He founded the local church and became its first bishop. He preached day and night and managed to convert many inhabitants to Christianity. At the same time, the infamous Simon the Magician, known for the Acts of the Apostles, chapters 8-9, was in Rome. And there, with his various tricks and magic tricks, he caused the admiration of the crowd. And for that, he gained many followers who worshipped him as a god. The Apostle Peter uncovered him with the power of God and met, and uh, the uh, magician met a horrible death. In those years, the insane Nero reigned in Rome, one of the most hated and bloodthirsty dictators in history. In order to absolve himself of his crimes, he burned Rome, and he attributed that to Christians. And in order to believe, he preached severe persecution against the new faith of the Christians, and thousands were arrested and led to horrible tortures and deaths. Peter became the main target of the persecutors, and that is why he decided it was appropriate to leave the city secretly and escape. As he hurried along the famous Appian Way, he saw the Lord before him, who asked him, Quo vadis? That is, where are you going? And then the fervent apostle understood that his flight was tantamount to a new deni denial of Christ, and therefore, with tears in his eyes, he turned back and was arrested and sentenced to death on the cross. And when he was led to martyrdom, he begged his executioners to crucify him upside down, with his head down, because he said he did not consider himself worthy to, to have a martyrdom as his beloved master and God. So he surrendered his holy soul to Christ, and his sanctified remains were collected by the faithful buried in a place outside the city. His solemn memory is celebrated today, annually, June 29, together with the Apostle of the Nations, St. Paul. The Apostle Peter wrote two Catholic epistles. The first was addressed to the Christians of Pontus, Galatia, and Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, and the second to all Christians. And through them, he tries to support the believers in the sorrows they suffer because of their faith in Jesus Christ. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I really support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.